He is now blessing and greeting each of the cardinals within the College of Cardinals, not just those who uh, took part in the conclave. I, I wasn't able to hear everything that he said, but he was reading from a text contrary to the homily which he made yesterday in Mass in the Sistine Chapel when he spoke for several minutes without any notes. Uh, so he was reading from a text this morning, but we understand that he departed uh, several times from that text. He paid tribute to his predecessor, Pope uh, Benedict the Sixteenth, or uh, Pope Emeritus, as we should now call him. He said that Benedict lit a flame in our hearts. He also said that he'd been able to feel people's prayers and solidarity. And to the cardinals, he said uh, that they were a community. He said, we are close, we are friends. Uh, and he also said, um, half of us are in our old age. Now, there has been some talk over the past day or so about the fact that uh, this particular pope was elected uh, because of his age, 76. Um, it had been thought that uh, he'd missed his chance, really. But uh, he said, old people house the wisdom of life. He said, wisdom is like good wine and gets better over the years. Then we must give this to the young people. And he also said, those who are not Catholic also look to the church. So a speech there by Pope Francis, we were told that he wasn't going to be making a speech, so actually quite a surprise that uh, he has, has been speaking uh, uh, quite at length this morning as he has been meeting each of the cardinals within the College of Cardinals. So that is the main function, really, his main event for today. But he has a busy schedule ahead because tomorrow he will be holding an audience with all the journalists and media who have been covering the conclave. And then on Sunday, he will be presiding over the Angelus prayers here in St. Peter's Square. We're told he'll do that from the window of the papal apartment, even though he hasn't officially moved in yet. And then all eyes on Tuesday, because that will be his inaugural mass. We're expecting to hear a few more details about the rights of the service and whether there are going to be any modifications. Expecting to hear a little bit more maybe on Monday, but we do know that that will be open to members of the public and no tickets are going to be needed. So a very busy schedule for this new Pope who has already been seen out and about yesterday when he went to pray at a, a church here in Rome. That was his first task, uh, to pray to the Madonna. And then he held Mass yesterday afternoon in the Sistine Chapel. So it seems there is no gentle easing in to this new role for Pope Francis. It is busy from the moment that uh, that white smoke was seen from the Sistine Chapel.